as you might have seen behind me, I finally hung up my false poster that I got um, when I saw false like two months ago. It's up now, and there's lots of photos all up the wall. It's very exciting. Hello humans! Today I am not at my floor, I am on my bed because I'm tired and I don't want to be standing up, so I'm sitting on my bed. Anyway, welcome to Fangirl Friday where I talk about books, movies and other things that I like to fangirl over. Today I'm going to be doing the literary dinner party tag. So I found this tag on Ashley Reads 97's channel, but she found it on someone else's channel, so I'll link the original video and Ashley's video down below. Basically what happens is you are going to have a dinner party with 11 fictional characters and you have to pick a person to come for each category kind of thing. Um, it'll make more sense when we just get started, so let's just get started. The first category is someone who can cook or who likes to cook, and for this category I picked Isabel Lightwood from The Mortal Instruments, and she definitely falls under the likes to cook, because as we all know, she can't cook. In the first book, City of Bones, she really ruins her soup. And I've only read the first book, I'm about halfway through the second book, so I don't know if she gets better as the series progresses, I know in the first book she sucks at cooking, but she tries. The next category is someone who has the money to fund the party, and for this category I picked Dr. Barlow from the Leviathan series by Scott Westerfeld. Dr. Barlow is a lady boffin, so she's basically a scientist, and she's very rich. Um, she's Charles Darwin's granddaughter or whatever, so she's very rich and very well on in society, so she can, she can pay for my party. That'll be good. The next category is someone who might cause a scene, and for this I picked Anna from My Sister's Keeper because we all know how feisty she is and I feel like she is definitely the kind of person that would jump down someone's throat if they said something she didn't like. Um, so she's basically me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure half my English class hates me because sometimes we discuss really controversial topics like the stereotypical teenager and the different stereotypes and all that kind of great stuff and I just, I go. I'm just off. My opinions aren't things that stay inside of me. My opinions just fly. This is why I have a YouTube channel, so I can just be a better student, basically. The next category is someone who is funny, and for this I picked Hassan from Abundance of Catherines because he's always making jokes. He's like the ultimate wingman, but apparently wingmen aren't supposed to be funny. But you know what, Josiah? I think they're allowed to be funny, so... Yeah. I don't know where I went that tangent, but that tangent is there. The next category is someone who is extremely social or very popular, and for this I picked Augustus Waters from The Fault in Our Stars, just dialed down a little bit, because when I reread The Fault in Our Stars, I realised what a pompous idiot he is at the beginning, and how like metaphorical and like up himself he really is, but I honestly believe that when he kind of just calms down a bit, he's a lovely person, so I would put him in there as a social guy, because he can just gather everyone in the love of joyful dinner partiness. The next category is someone who is a villain and of course for this one I had to pick President Snow from The Hunger Games. Like how could I not? Because let's be real, he's probably the book villain that I'm the least afraid of. I was thinking about it and I was looking at my bookshelf and I was like who out of these people would I be okay with sitting across the dinner table from? And I was like not really anyone. But there's a scene in Catching Fire where President Snow is having breakfast with his granddaughter, I think, and he's lovely and caring and the epitome of grandfatherness. And I feel like once he moves past his I'm gonna kill you all because you're less than me, he can be a really great guy. The next category is a couple and it doesn't have to be necessarily romantic, it can be like friends and stuff. So I picked Christina and Tris from Divergent because I just love their friendship dynamic. I think that Christina really brings out the best in Tris. I think that she really helps Tris to kind of overcome her fears a little bit, but and Tris also just blends her slightly. She kind of just smooths out some of Christina's sharp, truthful, candor edges and kind of, they just really have a great friendship and I really like that about them. The next category is a hero slash heroine and for this category I have picked Lucy Pevensey from the Chronicles of Narnia because I just, I love Lucy. I've always loved Lucy. She was always my favourite Pevensey sibling. She's great, she's kind of like the underdog, but she still goes and finds Flippin' Narnia, like... You go! The next category for this dinner party is someone who's underappreciated, and for this one I had to pick Matthew Cuthbert from the Anne of Green Gables series, because he's just a really lovely guy. He really loves Anne, he really loves everything that she stands for, but he's just so quiet and unassuming, and I feel like he had a real impact on Anne when she first came, and he was a real 
safe, solid, decent foundation for her. I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for that throughout um, the following books. And the last category for this dinner party is just someone random that you want to meet. And I have two people for this category. The first one is Professor Diggory Kirk, also from the Chronicles of Narnia, because he was there when Narnia was created and he like got to see Aslan create Narnia and make all this stuff and I would just be super keen to hear about that. I wish he was an artist. I wish he could- oh, how cool would that be? I wish that there had been an artist present at the creation of Narnia so they could have like painted the creation because that would have been so cool. And the other random person that I want to be there is Jace Wayland from The Mortal Instruments because he's incredibly good looking doesn't hurt to have a good looking person at your dinner party. So you guys, those are the people that I would have at my dinner party. Um, make sure you comment down below, tell me who you would have at your party and what your dessert that you would serve would be. Who would you have and what dessert would you serve? So you guys, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I love you all and goodbye. I still can see that you've seen my message and I still can see that you haven't replied to me. That really annoys me, unless you're writing me a flippin' paragraph. I don't know what's taking so long.